forces reunite. <laughs> Here's Joey Hayes with El Ligero. Where is Deathbird? You raise a very good question, as indeed did our MC Richard Parker. Where is Declan O'Connor? He was meant to be here tonight. He was meant to be here. He was at Gold Rush. He made a shocking return to help his former friend and partner, Joey Hayes. Well, the Blackpool Blonde say a lot of things I agree with. That is one thing I don't agree with. But what I do agree with is that they are the greatest tag team in XWA history. And they're going to prove it tonight. Declan O'Connor has proved nothing because he's no show. He was better come here and try and reconcile with Joey. Joey had opened his arms, thrown out the olive branch. Declan O'Connor, just like he did two years ago when he stabbed Joey in the back and ended their friendship, has thrown it back in his face. He's not here. Well, Declan, obviously, as we've seen before, not the most trustworthy of individuals, but I do find it strange that the Blackpool Blondes were immediately out here when Declan was being called, almost as if they knew he wouldn't be here. What are you trying to say, Alex? I'm trying to say that occasionally... You know, there's one thing I can't stand in your life. I can't stand a the conspiracy theorist. So I hope you're not trying to say the Blackpool Blondes are in some way involved in the fact that O'Connor's not here. O'Connor's not here because he's probably gone out like the filthy chap that he is and he's stealing hot cats. Well, there was plenty of cars parked on more component of that. Probably where he is right now. That's how much his friendship with Joey Hayes, that's how much the reuniting the Manchester Massive means to him. <laughs> well, Joey instead partnering with the current XWA flyweight champion, El Ligero. And that is going to be a formidable team, both men veterans of the British scene, against the much younger <clears throat> Blackpool Blondes. I like the Blackpool Blondes though. What great attitude these two young men have. Products of my XWA training school. I'm so proud of them. The way they've improved, they've come together as a team. They got over the fact that Rockstar Spud stabbed them in the back. Split up Team Rockstar to go it alone. And look at them now, in the ring with two of British Wrestling's very best in Joey Hayes and El Ligero. I could not be more proud of these two men. Well, I can agree with you there. The Blackpool Blondes are a very good team, very tightly knit, with the much more veteran Axel Rage looking out for his younger partner, JD Sassoon. But of course, Joey Hayes and El Ligero, being the veterans they are, will prove potentially more than a match for them here tonight. Well, they're not a regular team though, are they, Alice? You know, they've come together tonight. I mean, you know, Joey wasn't necessarily going to team with Declan tonight, because I don't, I can, he, he clearly realised he couldn't trust him. So we had El Ligero there, ready to team with him. Looks like he's needed the, uh, the standby because O'Connor, probably halfway back to Manchester by now, assuming that anybody would give that uh, little oika lift. So if he was hitching a ride and I stopped, I would probably just uh, be worried that he might want to hot wire my car or something. Axel Raid there. Stopping El Ligero hitting the ropes, allowing JD to get the advantage, but Ligero spins it out, hits the back hit, and instead throws JD into his partner. Catches JD with the back elbow there. Duck, 
ducks the leg of Axel, tripping him up, but finally the numbers game catches up with him. And again there, now, peaking Axel Ray up. And a spin kick again takes JD out of the ring. Leguero in complete control right now as the Blackpool Blonde struggle to regain their feet. He goes over the top rope. Crossbody takes both his opponents down. Now you must agree with me here, the atmosphere is electric at the Carlton, especially when El Ligero's around. They love this guy. Of course it is, it always has been. It's real in Morecambe, Ellis, as well you know. Right? That's the reason. That's what it's real in Morecambe is all about. That's why that phrase has come to be, because the crowd are just always so incredibly into the matches here in Morecambe. And they the atmosphere is phenomenal. If you've never been to a live show in Morecambe, you need to go. You better see action like this. this is a tremendous tag team encounter. Certainly is the crowd now firmly behind Joey. But he's allowing himself to be distracted by Axel Rage on the apron. Allowing JD to regain his feet. And catches him with, with a code breaker. Driving his face into his own knee there. Makes the tag two. Great tag team continuity. These two men are best friends. Obviously they have the fact they come from Blackpool in common. And you know, I may not appreciate some of the anti-Morcombe rhetoric that comes from the Blackpool Blondes, but I do appreciate the fact that they are proud of where they come from. Something wrong with being proud, proud of where you come from. I completely agree, and uh, obviously being a resident of Blackpool myself, I know just how nice a place it is. Um, Axel Raid is now in control of this match wrenching the arm there of Joey Hayes and again looks like making the tag to JD Sassoon comes with the ropes oh brilliant tag team move there I love the way these guys work together it really really shows how much they train together do you know who they remind me of? who? Oh, the Midnight Express that is, that is praise indeed I would say but I, I just love I mean obviously the Midnight Express are one of the greatest tag teams of all time you know, so I'm talking about their, their more famous incarnation of Stan Lane and Bobby Eaton but you know the blonde hair the swagger the tag team continuity the fact they don't care what the brain dead proletariat in the crowd think of them all they need is a manager now at ringside not with a tennis racket perhaps with leather gloves and things like that black leather gloves I'm not too sure the Blackpool Blondes need the authority right now. As you can see here, they are completely in control of Joey Hayes. Absolutely burying, making the quick tags like that is going to help them keep this control here. But Joey Hayes is at a disadvantage mentally. You know, he's, his mind has got to be all over the place. You know, he's you know, emotionally. He's going to be in a bad place because he thought maybe he was going to heal his broken friendship with Declan O'Connor tonight. He's in no fit emotional state to wrestle a match like this against two such dangerous opponents as the Blackpool Blondes. I agree. If you are going to wrestle a tag team like the Blackpool Blondes, your mind needs to be 100% focused on doing exactly that. Instead, if he's thinking about where Declan is, if he's wondering why Declan's not here, and he takes his eye off this game for a second, it will, it, it will all be entirely over for him. There you see the value as well of being a regular team. El Ligero went in to make the save, had to go back. The Blondes took advantage of that by making the quick tag, cutting the ring off, making sure they keep Joey Hayes in their corner. Hayes and Ligero, you know, I'll be the first to admit, individually phenomenal wrestlers. You think about El Ligero, three-time and current British flyweight champion. One of the greatest wrestlers the XWA has ever had. Oh, fantastic ends of gear, a desperation from Hayes. But they, they're not a regular team, Ellis. You need that familiarity. And that is familiarity, that's what I said. That is showing right now. But Joey Hayes manages to make the tag to El Ligero. As Axel Rose makes the tag too. But JD is taken down by a flying crossbody from Ligero. Now a spinning back kick. Throws them into one another. Axel Rose accidentally back body dropping his own partner. Now being thrown to the outside there. Working against them right now. Ligero though misses that splash to the corner. Oh, but delivers. Sky high. Sky high on JD Sassoon. If that's what you call it in Mexico. I would not know, I don't speak Mexican, I'm afraid. Now with, oh! Looking like he's going to the abdominal stretch instead, spinning it out into a slam there. 
Oh, yeah, that's an insult oh, to Declan O'Connor. El Aguero basically delivered De Declan O'Connor's patented strap and then slam there. What's he trying to do? Are we going to have the Mexican massive next or what? That would certainly be a sight to behold. But right now, into a tilt a -whirl. spinning out of it, lands on his feet, and oh, a modified Russian leg sweep there into a kind of neck breaker. Incredibly. See the continuity again, the familiarity. Sassoon was quickly in to make the save, knowing where they are at all times. They've almost got radar, these two boys. Well, we're seeing some innovative offence here from the Mexican sensation, El Ligero. You know, that comes from all those years of playing of the one-armed bandits together in the amusement arcades in Blackpool, you know. De it develops that sixth sense. Oh, super kick there from Axel Ray. It was a super kick too. But Joey Hayes has been tagged in now, firing up with some hard clotheslines, catching the neck of Axel Ray. Ducks the clothesline and comes back with that flying elbow of his. You know, the Morecambe fans, they're so fickle. They've forgotten Declan O'Connor. They don't want the Manchester Massive back together. They're quite enjoying the Mexican Massive here, Hayes and Ligero. Well, this match was nearly over with a win in their column. But JD did manage to kick out at two. Joey is feeling the excitement from the crowd. And you know, if Hayes and Ligero can score the victory here, then I'm sure that Hayes will forget that Declan O'Connor ever existed. Missing the teenage kicks there, Axel Rage now again interfering, taking Joey to the outside and slamming his face straight into that ring post. Well, there's been plenty of times that I, over the years, have wished the Declan O'Connor never existed. Believe you me. Ligero and JD now in the ring, Ligero in control. Gearing the crowd up, climbing to the turnbuckle. About to make a death defying leap, it looks like. But oh, wait! That, well, I think it is at ringside. That's RJM, that's Ricky J. McKenzie. Ah, uh, now you saw what happened earlier between Ligero and McKenzie. I did. RJM, losing to Jinx earlier, decided after the match to take his frustrations out on Jinx. And Ligero made the save. Unfortunately, Ligero's allowed himself to become distracted by RJM. And I think we saw there. That is a huge move there from the Blackpool Blocks. Gets them the three, I believe they call that the Blackpool Tower. You're absolutely right! The Blackpool Tower, the debut! They were telling me about that move in training, they were working on it. And he's got them the victory! The Blackpool Blocks have beaten Joey Hayes and Ligero! This could be the biggest win of their career over two guys like Joey Hayes and El Ligero. And what's Joey Hayes going to do now? He couldn't win with El Ligero as his partner. Declan O'Connor has clearly had second thoughts about reuniting the Manchester Massive. And Ricky J. McKenzie coming to the aid of his fellow Blackpoolians. Blackpool solidarity there. Maybe Blackpool does rock after all, Alex. <laughs> now if you'll excuse me, I've got some business to attend to. You carry on and you call the main event.